you're gonna remove nuts and bolts, a ratchet from Harbor Freight will do the same thing that a ratchet from Snap-on would do. Yo, what is up homies? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be talking tools. Specifically, my top five, I would say my top five tools that I recommend for you if you're gonna be working as an automotive mechanic, whether it's entry level, intermediate, A, B, or C tech, it doesn't matter. My top five tools that I believe you should have if you're working on cars. All right, starting with number one, and we're talking specifically Harbor Freight today. So number one would be Ratchets from Harbor Freight. Now this one I just picked up. I was looking for a long quarter inch. This one is a long quarter inch, but not only is it a quarter inch on one side, on the other side, it is a three eighths. So I got a quarter inch, three eighths, and it's a Pittsburgh Pro. If you can see right here, will it focus? Focus! Boom, right there. Pittsburgh Pro, lifetime warranty. Anything happens to this, I can get another one just by going to the store, walking in, handing it to them. They'll give me another one, no questions asked. That's how Harbor Freight is, that's how it's been, and that's how it's gonna be. So, I was looking for a long quarter inch ratchet. I found this one. They look exactly, they look pretty similar to the Snap-on ratchets. Obviously, the quality is not the same. You can't compare Snap-on to Harbor Freight. I mean, if we're talking about what the ratchet can do, yes, it's gonna do the exact same thing. Obviously, Snap-on quality is gonna be a lot better. It's gonna feel better in your hand, but Pittsburgh Pro will get the same thing done for less money. But if you can afford Snap-on, go ahead and buy the Snap-on ratchets. So tool number one that I'm recommending for you is Pittsburgh Pro with the black and red handles, ratchets. Even this one, get yourself this one. This one's from Harbor Freight. I think I got it with a coupon. I don't remember the exact price, but it's good. What's up, Kevin? I bet disappeared the ball. What? I bet, come here, show me in camera. Wait, wait, you did one car. Hey guys. Say, I'm Kevin. I'm Kevin. This is my Kevin. dad. This is my dad. Call me Hector. Call me Hector. Okay, bye bye. Okay. Right. So, tool number one, ratchets. Tool number two from Harbor Freight that I recommend. It's always number three. Tool, <laughs> tool number two that I recommend from Harbor Freight is obviously if you're gonna be working on cars, there's a good chance you're gonna be doing brakes. Okay, now when you do brakes, when you work for a shop, they want you to measure the rotors. They want you to get the specs to see if the rotors are thin, if there's still room to resurface the rotor. You're gonna need a digital caliper. The one that I use is from Harbor Freight. It's a thin digital caliper. It goes up to about six inches and it fits right between the backing plate. It's very thin to fit um, between the backing plate and the rotor and it, the measurements are pretty damn accurate. If you compare it to a Matco or a Snap-on or a KD Tools digital caliper, there's not much discrepancy. Buy it from Harbor Freight. It's only like 20 or 30 bucks plus you get a coupon and it, it's good, it's real good. I've been using it for about two, three years now and I've had no problems with that digital caliper from Harbor Freight. They even make one for drums and I think I'm gonna get it because the ones we use at work for drums are somewhere in the price range of about 300 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, 200, 300. So yeah, tool number two, digital caliper to measure your rotors if you're gonna be working on cars. You're gonna be needing that to get your specs. So this way, when you measure the rotors, there's no, can I still cut or can I not cut? You're dead on, on as far as a thousands of an inch go. All right, so that's tool number two, digital caliper to measure rotors and measure drums. Pick that one up too, Harbor Freight. All right, tool number three is this Braun light that you guys have actually seen in plenty of my videos. Braun, right there. This brown light is super bright. It's perfect for working under the hood, working under the car, working under the dash. It has a magnetic base, so you just gotta find a magnetic surface to stick it onto, and boom, you can have it right there. This right here, 20, 
25 bucks I believe with the coupon it normally runs about 35 40 bucks the astro lights that I've seen and I've shown you guys from Amazon actually run a little bit more this one has a 90 day warranty but you can purchase I believe a year warranty so that if anything happens to this one they'll cover it no problems okay it uses a uh, micro USB charger I think I've talked about this before in other videos all right it has a magnetic base it has three different settings okay and I use it all the time if you guys are OG subscribers you guys know about this light seen it you've seen it in most of my videos because I have another one that has like a flexible head but this is my go-to light and when I put it under stress it never fails one time it failed one time okay but I got it replaced no problem so that's tool number three, this Braun light from Harbor Freight. All right, tool number four is a jack. You're gonna need to buy a jack to be lifting up cars. The one I have here at home is a Pittsburgh Pro. It's one of the first ones that came out, but now they have the Daytona jack. The Daytona jack we actually have at work and when we use it, when we have it at work and, and when I gotta lift up a car, that's the one that I go for. I go for the Daytona Jack. It's a very low profile, so it can fit under almost any car, and it's a rapid pump jack, so it, it, it's a good jack. They actually compared it to the so one of the Snap-on jacks that they had. I mean, you obviously can't compare Snap-on to Harbor Freight. You can on some things, on some other tools you can't, but the Daytona Jack, if you're gonna be looking for a jack, that's the one you wanna get. That's tool number four for you guys and tool number five you're gonna need somewhere to keep your tools so what I have is the US general second generation tool cart I got a black one because I had a blue point car that I actually dropped at work it tipped over bent the drawers the lid was all messed up and then uh, I had, it was time for a new cart so I went to Harbor Freight number three number three burst number three number three finish number four finish Five first, no. All right, guys, tool number five is the US General second generation tool cart. You guys know that when a new tool comes out, I don't usually go and get it right away. You guys saw that with the Milwaukee 3H Ratchet, they came out with that one. Then when they came out with the second generation, that's when I went and bought it because usually they throw out the first one, they find out what's wrong with it, what can they improve on, and then they give you the second generation, which is usually the best one that they're gonna come out with. All right, so I got the US General second generation tool cart, row cart, with five drawers. The only thing I don't like about it is that the top two drawers on the left are um, out of the same. The one on the right, it's a little bit bigger. I don't like that because I guess it's OCD or whatever, but I don't like how they look. They don't look symmetrical. I don't like that look of the cart, but it gets the job done. I roll it from car to car. You guys have seen it in the shop. So that's tool number five, which is not really a tool, but you're gonna need it. You're gonna need that tool cart. US General second generation tool cart. Get it. As a matter of fact, I have a catalog here. They even have it in white now. I don't know who would buy a white tool cart. I know I wouldn't. Maybe I would. I don't know. Keep it here at home. But red is usually the one you go with. But since I have a black toolbox at work, I wanted it to match. So I got the black US General second generation tool cart. It does the same thing that my blue point from Snap-on does. It is a little bit noisier. I'm not going to lie. The metal probably is not as thick. It's not the same quality metal, but it holds my tools, it locks them, it keeps them safe, and so far I haven't had any problems. I've had that tool cart for about maybe five months now since I messed up my other one, but it's good for the price, it's good for what it does. I would highly recommend these tool carts. Boom, check it out right there. Uh, they're $199, plus I think they can throw that 20% off on top of that. I think you can get it as low as $159 if I'm not mistaken. Either way, $200 bucks is still a good price compared to Snap-on $500, $600 bucks tool carts. Obviously, we're not comparing quality, we're comparing price, and will it do the same thing as Snap-on? And yes, it will. The answer is yes, yes, and yes, it will. Okay? So, to recap, Pittsburgh Pro Ratchets, that digital caliper you're gonna need for brakes, the Braun uh, rechargeable light, the jack, you're gonna need a jack, and number five, you're gonna need a tool cart to keep your tools, that US General is the one to go with. You can go with the four drawer or five drawer, either one works. Now they come with uh, the struts, the gas struts to open up the lid and it won't slam on your fingers or your hands when you're opening it up, so it's good. Second generation is always better than the first. All right, so that's gonna be it, homies. 
top five recommendations for you guys from Harbor Freight. If you guys want to see more tool videos, don't forget to drop that thumbs up on the video. I actually have more boxes that I got to do an unboxing on. Number six. There is no six. It's only five. Oh. Come back and say there's only five. It's only five. Shoot it. <laughs> Check it out. Okay, so that's it. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell, and don't forget to drop that thumbs up. If you want to see more tools, drop your comment down in the comments below and let me know that you want to see more tool videos. I got a lot of tools I can show you guys. That's it, homies. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Montage.